Hey there, Redcast. Welcome to a new section that we're going to be calling What in the Box. Nothing to do with wrath, no deadly sins. Just a few product reviews on things that we bought to help us with our fishing with our YouTube channel. So, what's in the box today? Today, we're going to be reviewing the Dragon Touch Vision 1. We're going to literally open the box, see what's in it. We also bought to go along with the Dragon uh, Vision 1 a body strap so that we can have it on our bodies literally so that you can get point of view filming while we're out on the bank. So. Yeah. Well, the first thing when you open the box, it's a lovely little case, everything neat, tidy, quite a hard case as well so drop it and you make much difference, it's well protected. Now in the box, neat and tidy. Got your camera itself. Don't forget to take the stickers off. You will feel a bit of a prune if you're taking pictures or videos. And you got that sticker print right across it. You've got various different mounts, the tripods, you've got your charging lead, straps. Buckles and a very, very brief set of instructions. You also get a remote control, comes with a strap as well, so you can put it on your wrist. I think you're in Night Rider and uh, press record or actually show the picture, which is you know. You've just got the yourself and a tripod, then you can actually uh, take your photos of your catches unassisted. I would like say, nice neat box. There's your remote on the strap. I would say very quickly fastens up, but. I'm a bit clumsy, so not so very quickly. There you go. So if you see us wearing these on our videos, you know that uh, we've got the GoPros or the Dragon Cam, rather, on the go. As I said, also ordered body straps. Now that's so that we can fix the camera to the strap. Like so. And strap it to our body. I will be trying this on in a minute and go for a walk around uh, have a look at how it's done obviously we've got two this one I already had out of the box and had a play with and uh, it's been on charge so it's ready to rock and roll they don't come with a memory card that's the only problem I reckon um, 32 gigabytes um, obviously the bigger the memory card the more you can record um, this one's actually got 128 gig so should be alright if the battery holds out. The case itself is waterproof, so to say. Clip, and you're in. And there's the camera. Little LCD screen on the back. You've got your battery in the bottom there. Comes with a little tag, pull it out.
pop the cover back on. Got your memory card slot and you've got the charging port. So it's important to put your battery in before it pops on charge. Charging lead just plugs in there, plugs into a USB and away you go. Same process for downloading your pictures, pop it into your computer or your laptop and download. So you've got your power button and you've got your OK button and you've got an up and a down so that's for zooming in and zooming out. Let's turn it on. As you can see, it's turning on now. And you can see me. Very vaguely. There you go. <laughs> not the best. Not saying that the quality is not the best. My skills are not the best. So, there we go. I could uh, just take a quick picture of me. And that shot the picture. You can switch your mode by pressing the mode button obviously. You can switch between camera and to video. There, not the best. There it is, right by my finger. You've got the camera, or you could have it on video. We'll turn that off. Pop it back into case. Very simple. We'll put it on and we're going to have a walk around the garden. We'll film that footage and uh, see how that is. So there we are, it's fitted. We're ready to rock and roll. Tilt it down so I can see what I'm doing there. Back up and away we go. Now, the Dragon Touch Vision 1, it cost £27.19 off Amazon. You know, that's a cheap little um, video from camera just to uh, use what you're fishing. Being waterproof as well, you could also drop it into the edge of the water just as you're like releasing your fish. See what it looks like while it's underneath. See how it's swimming away. That'd be interesting. We'll, uh, we'll have a go at that uh, when we're out next time. So, well, £27.19, what would I say about the quality? I was actually quite surprised, uh, very surprised, in fact the, the quality isn't too bad at all. Um, it's definitely usable uh, for YouTube. I didn't imagine that it would pick any sound up being in the waterproof case, but it did pick a bit of sound up. So uh, that means me and Adam are going to have to be a little bit careful about what we're saying. No swearing. Tell you a big lad. So, on top of the £27.19 for the actual camera itself, again off Amazon, we bought the Techcam Action Camera 
adjustable chest harness and mount. That was just eight ninety nine. Um, and again, when it's all mounted up, easy enough to use, easy enough to put on. Uh, to be honest, just like putting a t-shirt on, I suppose. Line her up. And away you go. Obviously, we're still going to be uh, learning how to use these properly, what angle we need to be at with the camera. When I went out just and did a little walk around, I got it pushed flat to my chest, so it is shooting a little bit high. So I think just edge it forward a bit, and you'll be able to see what we're doing with the rods while they're in the water. I suppose as well, you'll also be able to see me and Adam being total dicks. Um, but that's all part of the fun, ain't it? Um, as for whether it's waterproof or not, not actually tested it per se. It was running a touch, but that's just a little bit of speed. Would I put it into the pool? Yeah, I think I would actually. It, it seals really well. You know, it's big rubber seal around it, there's some pressure there to add it to it. Yeah, I'd put it in the pool. So, on the whole, what's the the total verdict? Um, for me, well, we've got two. Would I buy another one? Yeah, I'd buy another one if we needed one. Like I say, for the money, £27, pounds, £19, pounds, you cannot fault that. Um, for a little action camera, so you can shoot a bit of footage while you're out fishing. Share it on TikTok, share it on YouTube, Facebook, whatever. Makes no difference nowadays, it's all out there. Um, so yeah, um, we've got a bait boat coming and um, we'll be doing a review on that and I'll be using this to film the bait boat as well as this I'll obviously be using my phone um, and I think I might take my camera out as well for a few shots uh, my DSLR so until next time tight lines, wet nets, go on